welcome back to Katie on the flip side. It is time for another cooking on Katie pie. And today I am super excited about this recipe because it involves two of my favorite things. One is summertime and grilling, and two is cheese. Mainly, you guys know I love Velveeta cheese. If you guys have ever watched any of my old cooking with Katie Pies in the past, I have definitely made some yummy, cheesy, delicious recipes. So I am thrilled that Velveeta is sponsoring this video so that I can make you guys some yummy, delicious Velveeta-filled goodness. Today, we are going to be making grilled Italian sausage with cheesy pepper sauce. So Velveeta sent me this treasure chest of a few ingredients and challenged me to come up with a fun and creative and delicious recipe. In my treasure chest of ingredients are some baking potatoes, artichoke hearts, and most importantly, the liquid gold. So they wanted me to make a recipe with these three ingredients as well as freshly bought Italian sausage and red and green pepper. So what I've come up with is the grilled Italian sausage with a delicious cheesy pepper sauce. Let me tell you what you need one pound of Italian sausage, one can of artichoke hearts, one red pepper, one green pepper, one onion, 16 ounces of Velveeta, a pound of baking potatoes, two tablespoons of olive oil, divided, one and a half teaspoons of oregano, divided, one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, divided, salt and pepper to taste. And for serving, you will need sausage rolls, and whatever other toppings you might want. So once you have all your ingredients together, you need to either fire up the grill or find somebody who knows how to fire it up for you. That would be my wonderful assistant, Cullen, who is the grill master of our house. You can also cook the Italian sausage in a pan on the stove if you wanna do it that way, but we just love the flavor of the grill for summer. While the grill is heating up, go ahead and cut up your red and green peppers as well as the onion into strips. Is that what you call them? <laughs> strips. And as a side dish to this, we're gonna have some potato wedges. So I'm gonna chop up my potatoes into some wedges. After you sliced up the vegetables, throw them into a tin baking pan and season them with some olive oil, oregano, garlic powder, and salt and pepper. After you slice the potatoes, throw them in a separate baking tin. You can season them with whatever flavors you like, but to stay consistent with the other vegetables, I'm just gonna use the garlic and oregano. When the grill's ready, go ahead and throw the sausage on there. You can also go ahead and be cutting the Velveeta into small cubes. So when your vegetables start to get just a little bit soft, throw in the artichoke hearts and the cubed Velveeta cheese. Let it melt slowly on the grill and turn into a creamy, delicious sauce. Oh my gosh. Look at it bubbling. Get the bubbles. Get the bubbles. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. You see that? Wow. God, that looks delicious and amazing. Yes. Wow, this looks amazing. Who knew that you could grill Velveeta on the grill and make an amazing sauce like this? This is probably gonna be a new summer favorite. Oh my goodness. I just got a little taste of the sauce and it was delicious. Thank you so much to Velveeta for sending me all of these ingredients and letting me be involved in the treasure chest challenge. There was a bug. If you are interested in getting some more amazing Velveeta recipes, click the link in the description below and sign up for their email list. It's all really delicious. Y'all let me know if you try this recipe. Like I said, you can cook the sausage any way you want to. Cullen loves to do everything on the grill, so that's how we did it. You can also do it in the oven or on the stove. Tweet me or Instagram me some pictures and let me know what yours looks like and how it tastes. Click thumbs up for a delicious, cheesy summer goodness. And leave me a comment letting me know what you think about this recipe or any variations that you would add. Thanks for watching and for subscribing, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Bye! So as you can see, the crotch strap comes up nice and high so it is not hard to get to. Very easy to just buckle her right in. The chest clip comes with two different positions, so it'll be a little bit wider when they're front facing, but it stays tighter and smaller when they're rear facing. The shoulder strap.